This is the kibbutz Berry, and this was one of the hardest hit areas from the terrorists. And you could actually hear some bombs in the distance. Um, we're not too far from Gaza. I'm telling you that you have never seen these pictures of destruction. I'm on, well, someone's patio. It used to be a patio. And the destruction, it's unbelievable. All around the kibbutz are these uh, posters of hostages, some who have been returned, and of people who have been killed. This was the home of Avshalom Haran, who was killed in the attack. Now, I'm not going any further than this. The destruction is hard to fathom. These are all the broken um, roof tiles. And this is just one house. I bring you across the street. By the way, it, 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 the trees must have been beautiful before being destroyed. And I mean, it's just a, this primrose path. This is where Judith lived before she was murdered by Hamas. This is how the destruction went. You can even see the house beyond it. It's right there. Set on fire, destroyed. And houses were set on fire so they could smoke people out of their safe rooms. So they could kill them. In our conversations with uh, some of the soldiers and others we're with, that hole behind me, that was done by an RPG in, in their view. You can actually see how it kind of scatters off in that direction. As explained, uh, this is not something that was done from afar. This was done from very, very close, which means it was done somewhere on this street. The street that I'm standing on. Just another area where it is house after house of people who were killed or taken hostage. And you keep walking and you see more of the destruction. What they don't tell you is the level of planning that went into this attack by Hamas.